Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Guys, let some people get in here. We're going to do another face-to-face. I'll be answering some questions, letting you guys join my IG Live. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Doing my morning cardio before. I got a new conversation with the big guy right back here at noon with Ryan Satin. We have Wes Briscoe on for an interview this week that will be dropping tomorrow. Hello, hello. All right, let's see. Spin the wheel, make a deal. See who the first person selected will be. My voice is a little hoarse, everybody, still. Hello. Sarah Collins, how are you? I'm good. Where are you at? I'm at my house. Well, obviously, I could tell that. I'm at where do you live? <laughs> oh, I live in Corbin, Kentucky. Where is that near Louisville or Lexington? Yeah, Louisville. I lived in Louisville for three years. Very cool. How old are you? I'm 14. Okay. I will put the chili. I will put chili. Hello, hello. How are you doing, buddy? That's a WWE star. You really How are you doing? Wait, really? Yeah. So talk to him, right? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to get face to face. He's shy. <laughs> it's okay. Do you guys have any questions? Do you have a question for me? You on a treadmill? I'm on the elliptical machine, doing cardio. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do. Um, what is your question? When are you? When are you coming back to WWE? I'm hoping to come back to wrestling by the end of the year. I got two more stem cell procedures here in June, so hopefully by the end of the year, somewhere I will be returning. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm excited. Really? I am looking forward to it. So. He's coming but, back. Where do we get tickets? <clears throat> I just wanted to say hello. We're going to be, I'm going to be letting a lot of people join me. So thank All you right. for answering. And you guys have a great day, okay? You too. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Off to a good start. Thank you, Sarah. Let's see, guys. Do we have anybody here? Send me a request. We'll see who's next. Answer your questions live, guys. <clears throat> we'll go with Derek. Derek, you have been selected. Will Derek answer, ladies and gentlemen? Hi. Oh, we're, we're two for two today with people answering. How you doing, Derek? Hi. Derek, are you there? Yeah. Where are you at, buddy? Laredo, Texas. Laredo, Texas? Yeah. How old are you? I'm um, 13. Good deal. Do you have a question today? Yeah, um, will you be joining AEW soon? I do not know what I am doing as far as where I'm going. Once I'm completely where I want to be health-wise, I'm probably going to do a few independent matches just to see how I feel, get, get in the ring, do some training, and then I will make a decision as far as what my options are and what will be the best fit for me at this stage of my career. So anything is a possibility right now, anything. Okay? 
Yeah. Good deal. Well, thank you very much, Derek. And you have a good day, okay? Okay, bye. Bye, buddy. <clears throat> As you can see, guys, lots of, lots of good fans out there. I've been doing a lot of cardio and eating salads and green vegetables to cut weight, and I keep gaining weight. So I don't know. I weighed 301 pounds last night. Best advice for thoracic uh, strain, find this guy, Smashworks, S-M-A-S-H-W-E-R-X, on Instagram, and flexible.bear. Follow those two accounts, you will find the answer to your problem. Hello, hello. All right, send a request, guys. We'll see who else is... Uh... I'm not going anywhere, guys. I'm still here. Had to get rid of something. There we go. <clears throat> Take a look at what our options are here. Let's see. Jay Melendez, you need to, you need to send a request too. We're trying to talk to everybody here. No being shy. Send another request, guys. I got to look at that again. It fell off my screen. Let's see. We're going to go with Courtney. Courtney, you have been selected. India, hello, hello. <gasps> Hi. Courtney, how are you? Good. I want to show you to my brother. He loves you so much. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go upstairs. I'm live with you, Dad. Hello, how are you? Hey, what's up, man? Not much. Just doing cardio, doing some questions on Instagram. Yeah, I want to show you to my brother. He loves you. Don't lose the connection. They'll never believe you. Hey, look, it's Ryback. Right Feed me more. <laughs> <laughs> you seem thrilled. He is. How's your day going? Good. We love watching WWE. Do you have a question for me today? I'm answering questions. Any questions? If you go back to WWE, do you want to be on Raw or SmackDown? I always liked Monday Night Raw because the energy was always better and there's more people that watch. Yeah, I like Raw. I've been to them a lot live. They're both great shows, though, but the, the energy on Raw is, is far better. So, yeah. in my opinion, from what I experienced there. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for answering, and I want you to have a good day and be a good person, Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello, hello. Everybody, thank you for joining. Who are we going to pick next on Instagram face-to-face -face with the big guy? Who wants to talk to me? Who has a question? Who doesn't like me? Who wants to address something they don't like about me? Going with King Rollins. King Rollins. The three for three today on people, good fans. Who do we have here? Dad, it's my back. Hello, hello. Where are you guys at? <laughs> the connection's kind of bad, so I apologize if it's not great. Where are you at? 
from San Antonio. Okay. You're the second person from Texas today. Yes. Are you having a good day? Yes. Good. I like to hear that. Do you have a question for me? Uh, yes. Um, what are your thoughts on Dean Ambrose? I like Dean Ambrose a lot. I've wrestled with him from the very beginning. I was one of their first matches, their first match in WWE, actually, at a T not TLC. Was it TLC? No, it was at uh, the, the pay-per-view in uh, Brooklyn, though, and I was their first match, so. And I've wrestled him all throughout my career, and I'm very happy for him now. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, not really. Okay, well, I want you to enjoy the rest of your day and have fun, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, four people. We've had four great people today. Yes, this is a lesson. We have a lot of kids on Instagram Lives we are seeing. <clears throat> Scotland, what's up? I've enjoyed my time over there. We'll try to make this and see if we get something fun. Is there anybody here who does not like me that would like to talk to me face to face? Do we have any health and fitness questions? Anything anybody wants answered about the podcast? Let's see. All right, let's see, see if we uh, get a request here. Let's go ahead. We're going to go with Big Bald Buddy. That sounds like a hell of a name. Big Bald Buddy. We're going Big Bald Buddy, guys. Uh, hey, what's up, big guy? Big Bald Buddy, what's going on? Not much. Doing some cardio as well, my friend. Where are you at? I live in a small little town, Angels Camp, California. Oh, about sure. an hour away from Sacramento. So more north then. Yeah. Okay, good yes, deal. Sir. What's going on? Do you have so, a question? So, hey, I do, actually, and it's health and fitness related, not wrestling related. That's good. But, uh, <laughs> so, first of all, that fat burner, man, I posted on my story yesterday. Yep. Top notch. Thank you very much. Um, but, so, what would be your strategy, man? If, uh, I'm trying to shred a little bit of weight and still keep some muscle mass. You need to adjust your calories. What kind of diet are you following right now, like, as far as what kind of eating schedule? Uh, so, I eat... Uh, I eat pretty early in the morning, about 4.30, go to the gym, a little bit later start today at the gym. Uh, then I eat about six eggs after the gym. Then I eat chicken and broccoli for lunch, a little bit of beef and broccoli for dinner. So you're on more, based on that, more of a low-carb diet? Keto, or is that correct, like a low-carb diet or keto or what? Yeah, kind of keto, I guess, but I, I still eat some fruits. Okay. I think, though, for you, if you're doing... Keto is different from more of the carnivore diet because carnivore, you're eating a lot of protein. Your carbs are super low still. Keto, your protein has to be controlled a lot more. I think you need to pick. It sounds like you're more of the carnivore diet with that, but what you need to do is adjust your calories. <clears throat> You've got to start slowly cutting your calories. and You've got to be careful because like, I've made the mistake of drastically cutting my calories and it slowed down my metabolism through intermittent fasting. So you just need to make gradual changes on that, and I would increase your cardio a little bit. So I'd cut your calories yeah. by two to 250 every couple of weeks, and I would increase your cardio 15, 20 minutes, and kind of do that for a little bit and see how it goes, and just keep making slight adjustments like that, and you're going to get better consistently over time. Cool. Good. Would, it, would you say it's still good to lift a little bit heavier? I think I, so. I love lifting heavy personally. I think it depends on your body and how you're feeling. You can lift light and look great. You can do high repetitions and look great. I like kind of doing the balance where for one or two months, I'll do 12 to 15 reps, 
then I'll do 10 to 12 reps for a couple months, and then I'll do four to six reps when I'm really feeling good. It all depends on what your goals are, but I think being well-rounded, especially in today's world, is the best. Right on. Well, hey, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Likewise, and thank you for supporting Feed Me More Nutrition. I appreciate it. My pleasure. I'm taking that go to sleep tonight. Good deal. I like to hear that. I take it every night. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to try it. Good deal. Thank you very much. Have a good day, right. okay? My pleasure. You too. Bye-bye. Good deal. Thank you very much. Big ball buddy. That was a good one. <clears throat> Doing cardio. My voice has been hoarse. I feel like I almost got an upper cold congestion a little bit, but we'll see. The show must go on. Let's see. We'll see who's next, guys. We'll go the woman, try to continuously mix these up, Asha. I believe, hope I'm pronouncing that right, Asha, Asha. Uh-oh, we did not get Asha. We got to do this again. Send a request, guys. Let's see. We'll try one more time. Ah, she's unable to join. All right, we'll try somebody else. Go on top of the list right here. I do not know the name. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm good, how are you? What's your name? Good, Donnie. Donnie, where are you at? Anchorage, Alaska. Wow, that's pretty cool. We can talk from all over, all over the place like this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how's your day going? What time is it then? Good. It's still really early here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Not well, in the morning. Do <laughs> you have a question? Um, do you see yourself doing MMA? No, I only like the training. I never. There was never any, ever any intention of ever doing any MMA. Um, when I first left WWE, I always, uh, boxing, started doing a little bit of Muay Thai, and I was doing some Jiu-Jitsu. I just like doing that stuff. I think it's just fun to do. Okay. Bellator had reached out at one point when I left, and just being a business person, I was, first of all, so hurt that I wasn't doing anything with anyone but they made a pretty, pretty solid offer. So I had the guy that was working with me at the time hear them out and see how much money they were willing to throw. And that was all, that was only just to simply hear the number and it was nothing more than that. And I think that information somehow then got out and got blown out of proportion that I was wanting to go into MMA. I physically was, my health was as you've seen, it's been three years of getting 11 stem cell procedures, soon to be uh, 13 and 14, 12, 13, and 14. So it just never, at 37, I have a lot of goals in pro wrestling, and I just enjoy the training more than anything. So. All righty, then. <laughs> good deal. Well, thank, thank you. you very much, and I hope you have a good day over there. Same to you, buddy. All right, take care. <clears throat> All right, we've got some really good people today. AEW forever with the middle fingers. I think we found our first hater. Let's see if AEW forever has sent a request. Let's see. AEW forever. You are been selected. You have been selected. 
AEW Forever, how are you doing? Is that the big guy? It is the big guy. What's going on? Not much. How's your day going? Good. How about you? Good. Doing my cardio. Where are you at? My house. Obviously. I meant, like, where do you live? Oh, I, you know, um... Like, your um, address. I actually want your address. You want my address? Yes, exactly. <laughs> right now. Now, where are you at? What, what city are you in? Uh, Michigan. Okay, good deal. Are you close to Detroit? Yeah. I was out there eight months ago, actually, for a show. Eight months ago? Yeah. How's the weather? Is it still cold or is it heating up? You know how Michigan is. It's all, like, all over the place. Yeah. Like, it's uh, from, like, the 60s or the 80s. Yeah. I like it. There's certain parts out there that are nice. Yeah. What's going on? What can just I wait do for, for you? Just waiting for summer in a few weeks. Yeah? You out yeah. Of, you're out of school now? Yeah. Almost. Good deal. Do you have a question? Yeah. Um, so, like, what, what, what was your thoughts on when they told you that uh, you would go back to the Phoebe Morgan in 2013? Or, no, wait, I think it was, like, 2014-ish. Well, yeah, 20... It might have been 20... Was it 2014 or 2015? I think it was before that, um, when you were on Team Cena. Okay. That's when I came back, yeah. It was in San Antonio, actually, when I uh, was told that information. <laughs> I was, um, so I was before that, I was really hurt with Curtis Axel, with Rob Axel. Oh, yeah, yeah. And my last match was actually in my hometown in Las Vegas. I was really frustrated with a lot of things at that time and working hurt for seven months. So I went and I had to get fixed. And when I came back... I didn't know if they were going to bring me back with Axel or if they were going to do let me go back on my own as a bad guy. And yeah. Joey Mercury actually came up to me, and he told me that day, he goes, you're back. And I said, no shit, I'm back. I've been at the building all day. He goes, no, feed me more is back. And I got goosebumps because it got taken away from me. Yeah, people, that I'll always uh, be very thankful for that crowd in San Antonio because that – that uh, the way they reacted actually helped me to be used a little bit better for a little bit. So it was uh, it was a good deal. Yeah. I was excited. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's it. All right, buddy. Well, be a good person. All right, and have a good day. Thanks. All right. All right. Anybody else? Thank you, guys. I love you guys, too. Hello, hello. I'm going to switch around here. go with I think Matt or Matthew. Oh it's hot out here this cardio. Yo Oh my god it's right back. What's up? What up buddy? Not I... much just doing my morning cardio. What are you doing? Oh nothing much. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Oh really? How long yeah. have you lived there for? Uh for seventeen years. Okay. How old are you? Um twenty three. Okay. I'm a big fan of you. I really love you, man. Thank you very much. I will be back eventually. Um, so if you were to go to All Elite Wrestling, who would your dream opponent be? Uh, there's a lot of guys. I've wanted to wrestle Kenny Omega for a long time because I believe our two styles would mesh really well. And I would like to be able to, to do a long, long match with him and uh, actually show people just how good I really am. Oh, man, imagine you versus Kenny Omega or you versus Chris Jericho. Oh, my God, that would be Jericho so fun. Before too. Yeah, Chris is a great, great wrestler. So, and yeah, there's a lot of matchups there. I think my best matches 
are actually with guys of that size on that roster as far as quality matchups. It's a lot harder oftentimes in like WWE because of how strong I am. They like to put me in the ring with big guys because they and, can pick them up. And I was which there, is like, really hard to have certain matches, yeah. And I was there in the MGM Grand for the show. Oh my god, oh, it yeah? was a, yeah, it was a whole different experience. Oh my god, it was I'm like excited. the best thing I ever been to. I think it's gonna be they're gonna they got something really special with everything, so it will be interesting to see what happens going forward. And right back, thank you so much for for um accepting the request. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're very welcome, buddy. Have a good day, okay? You too. Have a good one. Bye. All right, bye. Bye bye. Awesome. We've had really good people today, guys. Really happy with this. Hello, hello. Are you guys enjoying this? Are these are these good for you guys? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get. Everyone's been really good the last couple of days. <clears throat> hello, hello. Akash, send a request, guys. Let's see who gets picked. Make sure you guys check out Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com and Amazon also. In conversation with the big guy Ryback on iTunes and Google Play. That's my podcast. Hello, hello. What's up? Not easy doing cardio, having full-blown conversations, guys. All right, we're going to go with Jimmy Smith from the UK. He's 70% English, fellow Englishman. Oh. Hello. Uh-oh, we have... Wi-Fi connection over in the UK. Ah, we lost them. I can't pick everybody, guys. I cannot pick everybody. If you join these every day, though, do your chances of getting selected go up greatly? All right, we're going to go with Luke Groves. Luke Groves. You have been selected. Hello. Hello. Luke, how are you? I'm fine, Violet. How are you? I'm very good. Where are you at? Yo, yeah. I have watched you in WWE. Where do you live? Yeah, I have watched a lot of your matches, like with CM Punk, with Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes. I've wrestled those guys many times. They're good guys. Daniel's a really good guy. Are you looking to come to India? Oh, are you in India? Yes, I'm I in India. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. We get to talk all the way across the world like this, huh? Yes. I, yeah, yes. I've been there several times. I've enjoyed it over there a lot. It's actually the food and the yeah, hotels I, I stayed I, in were great. So cool. uh, when you come to uh, India, I have all the good life events. Uh, great call Lee is out there. I know he wanted me to come out there before. I think when I'm healthy again, I'll be out there eventually. My, you know, my number, New York City and India are my two largest followings, I found out. So there's a lot of great fans over there. So I definitely will be back eventually. Okay? So uh, what's that? So how to come back? Uh, I don't know. It'll either be the end of the year or the beginning of next year, I would say. Okay, so I'll post it on my social day. media, though, when I do. You never reply to me on social media. I message you every day. I don't see a lot of my... This is my best way to talk to me is on these. I get a lot of messages, so I can't answer them all. Oh, so thank you for picking me right back. You're very welcome. You have a good time, good day over there, okay? You too. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. How cool is that, huh? All the way over in India. 
talking to me in Las Vegas. <clears throat> we live in a pretty cool world, huh? This was not possible before. You apologize for being apologetic. <laughs> Let's see who we get. We're going to go with Destiny. Destiny, you have been selected. I'm trying to do a balance of men and women on here. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Baby. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I was not expecting. Anybody can be picked on these. I, Anybody can be picked I on these. I was Maybe. not expecting this. I literally have to go down the little selection. I try to pick different people. So, <laughs> how are you today? I, a vessel that's truly been underused and underappreciated. <laughs> I don't know if you heard. Thank you very much. My uh, fiance. I did. One Thank of the you. greatest wrestlers that has been underappreciated and underused. Ah, uh, they knew what they had. I'll be back eventually. Everything has happened for my benefit. So, I will be back and better than I've ever been before, and everything will make sense eventually. That's awesome. My, my question is, uh, it's about what John Moxley said. How do you how do you feel about what he said? Is like a lot of that true? Like Vince does things like that just to he does. Yeah, I I've said since I've left, I've been very open about the good and the bad. And he's not saying he's not said anything that hasn't been said already. I think he just said it on a large platform, and a lot of people, because of how he was used in WWE are realizing that it doesn't matter whether you're a lower guy, a mid-card guy, or a top guy, they all deal with the same bullshit. Just the top guys make work way more money compared to the lower guys. Right. So it's all completely wrong on that, too. But, yeah, everything he said is 100% true. Hell, yeah. Do you mind if I take a picture? You can go. I can't stop you. <laughs> I just wanted to ask permission. <laughs> this is awesome, Thank man. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Awesome. Thank you so yes. much for your time, sir. I You're cannot welcome. wait to you see have you a good day. again. You too. Likewise. Thank, thank you for your support. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Awesome. See, you guys, how many great fans there are? This is where I think people get caught up. I know this all the time. I go through this every day. People see negative stuff, though, when negative people hang out with other negative people and they have negative discussions. And then sometimes you guys hang out in those places and see it and think, oh, people don't like Ryback. I have one of the largest followings across the world of faithful supporters that love me, and I love them. And I think we need to focus on that, just drown out the bad, because it doesn't, it, it doesn't exist. So and it's a very small minority. That's what I want. I want people to see how many good people are out there. Let's see. Okay, guys. Let's see if we can do do one more. Whew. We're going hard in the paint today, guys. Hard in the paint. Whew. Hi, Rebecca. Hey, how are you? Good. Where are you at? Las Cruces, New Mexico. Okay, I've been over there. The altitude is very high over there. Yeah. You having a good day? Yeah. What can I do for you? Do you have a question? Concern? Mm -hmm. I think you I think you're I think you're better than Triple H, I think. You think so? Yeah. I would agree with you. <laughs> <clears throat> You're, you are more bigger than Triple H, I think. I am. I outweigh him probably by yeah. 50 pounds. So yeah. he might he might be slightly taller than me, though. But no, he he's a good wrestler, though, when he's wrestling. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to ask or anything? Life, mm -hmm. health, anything? 
podcast, wrestling. How, how long? Have you, how long have you been in wrestling? I got started when I was 22 years old, and I just wow. I'm 37 now. So, and I've taken off the last eight months with my injuries, but I will be back by the end of the year. So, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Have well, you ever? Have you ever fought? Um, Surgeon Slaughter. No, but I've met him many times. He's actually one of the nicest human beings that I've met in pro wrestling. He, he's, yeah. like, he's truly, truly a great guy. Him and Bob Backlund might be my two Yeah, I, I met I met Surgeon Slaughter at my high school. Yeah, he's, he's, he is a quality human being. So he I, he I went to my high school, and um, he was talking about us about bullying. Yep. He's, and... Uh, I had a, a card of him, and it said uh, legend, and he That's, was happy to bring it, too. We got um, pictures with him and all that, so, yeah. He yeah, was, no, he is he is truly a legend, so I'm very happy that you got to meet him. Yeah. All right, well, I want you to have a good day, okay? You too, and I, I hope you come back, though. Cause I will. I, really like I will, all right? All right. All right, bye-bye. Bye, and I love you. I love you, too. Thank you for the support. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. This is... we got great fans everywhere, guys. Guys, let's see... <clears throat> Thank you, guys. Oh, I got to hop off this year, though, guys, for the day. I got to get some stuff done. I got to take a stop course. I got to go eat and get ready for my uh, conversation with the big guy, Ryback Podcast, this afternoon. There's no days off with Feed Me More LLC. We work every day. I need to sometimes take breaks, self-admittedly. But until I get to where I want to get, uh, the Feed Me More mindset has to stay strong and stay hungry. So I love you guys. Thank you for the support. As always, if you could please check out Feed Me More Nutrition. If you ever have a question on health and fitness, you can email it to me to the big guy at feedmemore.com. I can't always get back right away. Between messages and all the stuff that we're constantly doing in emails and just life and work, I try to do my best. Uh, and get back to you guys. So thank you very much. And as always, be good human beings. Three people today, always to take away on these. Please be nice to three people today on social media. Make them feel good about themselves. Motivate, enrich, and enable them any way you can. If you don't like something on social media, simply do not look at it, please. Either block them. That way you don't have to see them ever again. If it's something you truly don't like, and if you get that urge and reaction to leave a bad comment, ask yourself, is this going to help them in any way possible? Is it going to help me in any way possible? I think you'll get your answer, and then you can move on and find something that you do like. It's all about what we focus on, guys. Focus on what we like. All right. Feed me more.